what is going on guys welcome back to a another video and today we have some news some trade news some news about my team the seattle mariners and uh i actually was going to make a video uh, about the mariners uh in their recent light of news because two days ago um news reports say they were gonna tear down the team um met the poto responded back and basically said the media over like I forgot the word, but over demonetized uh, the situation and that they were going to reimagine the team, which I'm thinking means trading some pieces um, to get a little younger and uh, I don't know, like look towards the future, I guess. I don't know. I mean, DePoto is probably the most wacky manager in <laughs> GM and GM and baseball you never know what he's gonna do i mean he says he's not gonna rebuild and you never know he could they could 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 go tear it all down but um i was expecting them to do it next season if i think nothing happens but that is uh but before i could even get that video done because i was gonna go into the details and uh, give my opinion about it which i'm still gonna do i'm still gonna make the video about that um i was planning on getting it out maybe sunday or monday um but they just already made a trade depoto is in trade season it is depoto trade season so um i this is probably not gonna be the last trade of course as well um but let's just get right into it um the mariners have traded the trade is behind the screen nice guy remember one or two players but they traded mike zanino guillermo heredia and michael plasmeyer i think that's how you say his last name to the tampa bay rays for malik smith and outfielder jake fraley so <laughs> first initial reactions these i'm just going to give you my opinion about it. if you follow me on twitter you already know my opinion about it uh, but of course not a lot of you do so here we go um mike zanino he just won defensive player of the year at catcher uh he was the best defensive catcher in all baseball last season uh he was obviously not the best hitter um, he, I, I know he struggled in injuries. I feel like that has something to do with him not hitting well this season. Obviously, it has not the total factor, but it's obviously, um, it factors into how he hits, of course, just because it was his quad. I believe it was some elbow issues, too, if, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was actually mainly just leg, left leg stuff. The leg kick, leg, and all that. So, that really affected his swing this year. Uh, cause we've also know, we all know what Mike Zanino can do. He was drafted as he was supposed to be the best hitter in the draft class, uh, in his 2013 draft class. That's what was said. Um, but he, you know, hasn't really lived up to his potential as a hitter. He obviously has lived up to his potential as a uh, defender. He's an excellent defender. Um, but hitting, not really. We saw what we could, he could do, uh, 2017, 250 average, eight something OPS, uh, 26 home runs. 330 something on base percentage i think just really really good numbers i uh, could not execute that in 2018 uh because of injuries and i believe other things of course but uh, injuries also have a factor but uh he has he's under control for a couple more years um i i i'm i'm really he's a fan favorite i really i'm really gonna miss him um obviously uh it's pretty hard i mean it's not hard um but it's sort of hard to replace someone with excellent top tier defense, like elite defense at the catcher position, one of the main place, like places on the team that you want to have for defending. Uh, you know, you you usually, I mean, if you have a really good defensive catcher, more than likely half the time you're really not going to care that much and keyword that much that he's not a great hitter because he would be saving you games defensively and calling games that will help you win games defensively so it really really hurts to have him gone i really hope they go after um you know it doesn't even have to be grandal or um what's the other one it's grandal or um it's not real meal too i can't think of the other one off the top of my head but it's another free agent catcher um I'll actually just look at it real quick to confirm. Okay, the one I was talking about is uh, Wilson Ramos. Um, but, I mean, they've known to not be free agent, going after free agents with DePoto, uh, really that much at all. So, I'm pro it's probably not going to happen. Um, if it does, it's going to be a low guy, non-huge name guy. 
Uh, I honestly hope we could get Robinson Chirinos. That would actually be pretty cool. Um, but I just hope we get a sustainable ca capture, really. You know, but it really hurts to see him go. Guillermo Heredia, the other one, other piece that is going to the Rays in this. Uh, he's a great fielder, but just not a good hitter, uh, as we've shown. He's shown a little bit, like maybe just a week of st or two or three, you know, in total, that he could be a good hitter. He's just, uh, it's just not getting there. Uh, he's the one that I took through the first pitch to and took a photo with, so I'll always remember that. I'll always be a special little place in my life, uh, knowing that I took that picture of Gamma Heredia, threw the ball to him, got a hug with them and all that so it also that one hurts on a personal level as well to see go to tampa bay um but it has to do it ha things happen you know but it sucks um michael plasmeyer who actually i don't keep in touch a lot on the mariners farm system that much because sometimes it's, there's not even that many good players down there because we're like i think like the worst farm system in baseball so um let me just look at this guy's stats. Well, let me show you this guy's stats. Okay, Plasmeyer is a 22-year-old left-handed, uh, I believe, starter. Yeah, starting pitcher, which this is the other part that makes me a little angry or upset about this is I don't understand why include uh, Bla Plasmeyer when you need pitching. When you, if you're going for a rebuild, that you want the pitching. I, I don't understand the idea about that, but... In A level, his first pro year, 21 years old. Uh, actually, no, he was 21 years old. He turned 22 like three days ago. Uh, he had a 2.25 ERA and 12 games started, 24 strikeouts. I mean, excuse me, 24 innings pitched. Uh, he had 44 strikeouts, a 16.5 K per nine, uh, 1.5 walk per nine, a 6.0 hits per nine, and a 0 0.83 whip. He pitched excellent, and they trade him. I, I really don't understand that part. That's the really part I'm kind of upset about. Uh, I mean, I might be able to more upset even more about Zunino, like, I mean, about like this than Zunino, but uh, I don't know. I don't understand the mindset about that. But uh, let's talk about what we got back. We got Malik Smith coming over from the Rays back to the Mariners again. Uh, <laughs> hopefully more than 78, uh, 77 or 78 mi minutes this time. Uh, <laughs> as you guys don't, if you don't remember, uh, I believe in the 2016 or 17 offseason. Yeah, no, it was the 2017 offseason. We traded for uh, Malik Smith from the Rays. No, wait, no, from the Braves. From the Braves. And then we immediately, not even more than an hour later, traded him to the Rays for Drew Smiley, who, fun fact, never pitched for us, had to get Tommy John surgery, went to the Cubs, never played for the Cubs, and now he's on the Rangers. <laughs> yeah. So, essentially, we traded Mike Zunino. Uh, essentially, we gave up... Uh, we got Mike, Malik Smith again, uh, but we had to give up players we didn't need to give up if we just kept them. <laughs> so, that one kind of hurts. Uh, but he is a very, very good player. He had a 3 point... I think 3.2 war last season. He's a very nice hitter, nice defender as well. He's 40 still in bases last season. He's a nice speed very good all-around player so i'm happy to have him on the team i'm really, really well that locks up center field for us uh, and that also now leaves us to <coughs> an option with d gordon you either start him at second base uh, and have cano work at first base or dh or you trade him and uh try to get maybe a catcher or something like that pitching who knows um because if the the, the poto's mindset is reimagine re because let me reimagine the team and not go into a teardown right now. Um, I would think trading D Gordon would honestly be the better option because you can either start Daniel Vogelbach and Ryan Healy at first base, have Cano at second, and then if you trade D Gordon, hopefully get some pitching for him or either a catcher and or anything like that because that's really what we need right now. So I think those are two the two bit well, those are basically the two options. Uh, either the Gordon starts the second or he gets traded so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that um but we also got one other dude from the trade it was a out outfielder <laughs> it's gonna get over here um he jake farley from the tampa bay rays he is a 24 year old he was an a plus last season um uh, he also in 2017 the previous year he is in the foreign league he played 40 uh 40 games 
He had a 13 home runs, a 361 batting average, a 449 on base percentage, a 680 slugging, and a 1130 OPS. So he killed it in the foreign league, and then he just played even the same, we're pretty much at the same level uh, besides the home run part in uh, A plus la uh, last year in 2018. Oh, well, this year. Um, 66 games. He only had four home runs, but he had a 347 average, a 415 on base percentage, a 547 slugging, and has 962 OPS. So still very, very good numbers. I'm not sure how he's gonna do in the on the team on the well, on the farm system. Uh, he is 40. I mean, 40. He is 24 years old. Um, so not. I think he'll probably be in. I, mean, I guess he could be in double. I think he probably would be in double A maybe uh, if they want to test him in there. Um, because of course, obviously, our farm system is not too great so i don't really know how, i don't really have much to say about farley because i don't i haven't seen him play personally well i mean not personally on like you get what i mean um but the stats show that he is a pretty good hitter uh then again the year or two before he was struggling pretty bad but who knows he could also just turn into a really good player uh i hopefully i guess but um this was a very interesting trade first trade of the offseason it's gonna get way more hectic. I as bully, I would sure hope so, um, with the Corey Kluber news and all that, and just everything going on. So, uh, my opinion, my overall opinion about that, I think it's a good move. Um, I think it'll be even better if we get a sustainable catcher, because our only catching option right now is David Freitas, and it's honestly not <laughs> really good at all besides the defense. Um, so. Hopefully we can get uh, a sustainable catcher. Um, I'm really hoping Mike Zanino is I, turns it you know, plays well for the Rays. Obviously it's gonna hurt a little bit, but I would love to see him turn into an all-star. He lives in Florida, so that's also a huge awesome plus for him as well. Uh, hope he does well, of course. And also Gamma Heredia had a picture with him personally, and uh, he's the guy I threw my first pitch to. So of course I hope he does well as well. I obviously don't think he's going to play. He was a bench bat for us, so he's probably going to be a bench bat for there uh, because I don't think Malik Smith started all the time because I think their outfield is pretty pretty stacked. So who knows? He'll probably be a bench bat. Uh, I hope I wish them both the best. That is my opinion about the whole situation. Let me know if you're a Mariners fan or a Rays fan. Let me know how you think about it, uh, what you think about it down below. Or if you're just an MLB fan in general, let me know down below. Again, if you want to go check out my last video, I talked about some crazy predictions from fans. Uh, the, I talked about my own predictions as well, um, my only my own main predictions, and then uh, of course, obviously, I left some free agents in there as well. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you are new, and of course, as always, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.